welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for rocking with me if you're already subscribed and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe so you can get all the updates from my future videos. If you guys watched my last video, you guys will know that I'm going to be doing more videos talking in details and answering questions and anything regarding hair I'm going to be talking about. So today is a pretty chill day for me. I don't have any makeup on um, except for some gloss. Like I was wondering what I can do and I realized that I have not updated my hair um, journey video. That was actually my first video on YouTube. So it needs some updating. This video you'll see a lot of pictures of me and my hair journey. You know my mistakes that I've made and hopefully you guys can learn from them. And I hope this video will inspire you. If you are on your hair journey, congratulations. Because it's rough. <laughs> okay. A lot of people won't admit that natural hair is not an easy thing to do so whether you are three months in six years in 16 years in, congratulations continue to celebrate yourself and your hair journey so i really hope you enjoy this video stay blessed and i love you all okay so we're starting off with the crazy pictures here's me in seventh grade i had a perm my hair was long and the next photo you're gonna see is a year later and you'll see how much hair i lost this was due to medicine from the medical condition that I have and in 2010 I decided to go natural. So in 2011 I got bored and decided to cut my hair off. The next picture is so funny because <laughs> I had to go out and this is what I did with my hair. I look super crazy. So later on in the year, I put my hair back in weaves and I took it out and this is some growth. So this is my first ponytail and you're seeing a little bit of curl definition and my first blowout and my first attempt to flat ironing my hair. So in 2012, I decided to put my hair back in weaves like two more times just because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing yet with my natural hair. But once I got the hang of it, I loved it. I loved the growth for this year. As you guys can see, my blowout is getting thicker. I have length. I just love 2012. So I love 2012, but 2013, you guys, is when I really, really, really started to see my growth in my hair. 2013 was lit for me, you guys. Like, I tried a whole bunch of things to help my hair grow, and I think just having it in braids from the weaves also helped promote my hair growth. So, yeah, I love 2013, too. Okay, so 2014, this is when things started to kind of get a little crazy. Even though my hair was growing at a great rate, I was taking good care of it. I trimmed it on my own. Um, this was my first year actually really, really getting my hair straightened. If you want to see that video, that video is still up. So the hairstylist suggested getting a trim, and I went ahead and did that. It was a little shorter than expected, but it was all right. I was a little hyped. My hair was straightened for the first time. All right, so 2015, you guys, this is when it all went downhill for me. And you guys will see what I'm talking about in a few. So my hair was growing per usual. And you guys can see this comparison pic from 2011 to 2015. So it was my birthday and I got my hair straightened. And this lady said she gave me a trim, but it was a haircut. Look how short my hair is, you guys, like for real. It Look how short it is. She gave me a full-blown haircut. Let's just look again. Look how long my hair is in 2015. Now look at this. This was the exact moment, I don't care how crazy I looked, that I realized that she really, really, really gave me a haircut and I was upset. So I tried to deal with it as best as I could. So 2016, I was really just about doing whatever style I felt like. It wasn't about growing my hair. You know, I was still like upset about losing so much length and I just tried so many different styles this year and luckily this year when I straightened my hair it did not get chopped off um, I am doing regular trims and I'm doing them myself because I trust myself and 
yeah you guys so i straightened my hair several times i know this is a, another pregnancy pick um but i'm just showing you guys i straightened my hair and i curled it so i tried a lot of different things a lot of head wraps I did a lot of buns I had my hair in a bun for like a full-blown month and here's another pregnancy pic this is from my baby shower so I straightened my hair in total three times because I know my hair my hair is not damaged and for 2017 I'm actually gonna go back to focusing on growth um, I'm gonna be doing a hair journey hair growth challenge and I hope you guys will join me when I announce all the details for that I'm so excited about that 2017 I want to get back to growing my hair if you guys really enjoyed this video please leave your comments down below if you had a few bumps in your hair journey please feel free to share share your tips whatever you feel like doing leave it in the comment section I love you guys so much stay blessed and I'll see you in my next video